stage at Redden and Leeds 2019. Your headliners, 21 Pilots Boys. Hi. Hi. How are you? Doing good. I'm doing great. Welcome. It's so it's so good to have you here on like the the hottest weekend that we've had in forever. Yeah, it's uh, it's, I guess it's better than the alternative, huh? Yeah, I think you brought some LA sunshine with you over it's, here. It's it's definitely the warmest that it's ever been uh, for us being over here. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're, you're welcome. You're yeah, very welcome. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, <laughs> last night looked absolutely epic. Um, we've been up here in Leeds, but I've seen some clips and it was like next level. The crowd looked like they were absolutely loving it. It was a lot of fun. It was a great show. I think that it's really cool to see, you know, just the progression for us as a band playing Reading and Leeds and being, the, you know, the last band on the on the bill. Literally the poster were the last name. Yeah. yeah. And even that show it was so important to us to even be a part of this festival and to watch now us to get all the way up to the top. And um, I don't know. We still didn't know if it was going to be real until we got up on stage and and did it and 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 saw the reaction and just the um the involvement and uh, it was special something we won't forget. And um, a particular moment that's, that's standing out for a lot of people was uh, was the cover of "Don't Look Back in Anger," bucket hat, coat, the whole the whole shebang. Yeah, man. <laughs> Where did that? What, what? What? Why? Where did that come from? Actually, the night before the show, it just the idea came about. I was talking to one of my techs and. And just how, you know, the idea that we're, you know, a couple of American guys that come over here and, um, I don't know, a lot of a lot of American bands or bands from other countries or other cultures just just assume that they should be a part of, of the, the culture here, just assume that they deserve it. And, you know, Josh and I have been watching, you know, festivals over here in the UK, whether it's, you know, on the Internet or, or on TV for years, and we've always wanted to be a part of it. And we felt like it was just a, a great way to say thanks for letting us be a part of it because yeah. you know we don't assume that at all, and we just wanted to show them that we respect the history. And we felt like you know an, an Oasis cover was a pretty good way of saying that. Yeah, well, we appreciate that. Not that you need to at all. You're very welcome here. Very, very welcome. Thanks. Yeah, we had an idea of. I mean, that song is so special for a lot of reasons. You know that. You know, we actually they, Oasis played like 19 years ago. You know, played. Played Reading and Leeds, yeah. and um, and haven't done since actually. They they actually broke up like ten years ago, uh, today I think or was something it, like that. Was it yeah. the anniversary? Yeah, it's, like, it's the anniversary of their breakup too. This was the weekend of the festival they were playing. Wow! And uh, ten years ago, where they they called it. I just I mean the song structure, the 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 tune, the chords, everything about it. Um, it's one of my favorite songs ever written. So uh, it just all seemed to come together it did that that's perfect that's perfect there's a lot of perfect things coming together right there um and the security guards were particularly into it as well have you seen the have you seen the clips online no so the security guards like congered around the front of the stage yeah oh, i didn't even notice that did you, not notice that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they were, you know some security they're they they do not want to you know get involved because they don't want it to send the wrong message but i i believe the opposite i think that security and staff at a festival especially of this scale is so important to not only be looking out for everyone and you know making sure everyone's safe, but also involving themselves and being being aware and um, uh, just kind of a, a part of uh, the people going to the show, kind of being one with that audience, and that's the best way to take care of them. And uh, the the staff last night at Reading was was awesome, and ready to to have fun with us, but also nice. do their job at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, well, there's no point. There's no point standing at the front of the stage being static. You know, there's I can't. Yeah. I, there's a, I, can I can't believe how many security stand there and not move. Honestly, I'd, yeah. I'd be going crazy yeah. if yeah. I were them. That takes some restraint, surely. Um, can we talk about music quickly? Um, I feel like we are kind of coming to the end of a certain era, um, and moving on to the next one. Is that right? Are we kind of are we at that point now? Do you think where we're gonna kind of transition? Yeah, we. I mean, we have been focusing on. I mean, we've been we've been uh, on the road for like a year now. I think, or almost about a year, um, and still have a little bit more to go for the rest of this year. So we we have been kind of like just focusing on that, uh, just kind of performing and working on the show for the rest of the year, um, and uh, and then maybe we'll just be done. Yeah, maybe we'll quit after that. Yeah. Please don't say that. No, I will say <laughs> that one of that. one of the best compliments I can have for whether it's an interaction with a person or an event is to be to 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 leave it feeling inspired. And I know that's kind of like a general phrase, but truly playing these festivals, playing Reading and Leeds, 
this weekend has truly inspired me and the idea of taking that inspiration and, and pouring it into something new. Um, I really want to write songs. You know, some days I don't feel like writing songs. A lot of musicians talk about how they always love music and I don't know, it's kind of this um, unwritten rule that you can never say that you sometimes don't like music. Well, mm. sometimes we hate music. It's just, we have a love-hate relationship with it. Um, but with that, it's that much sweeter when you leave a weekend like we're, we just did here at uh, Reading and Leeds and it's like, I feel inspired to write music. I feel like I want to pursue and wrestle a new song um, and that's the, the best compliment I can give any event. And nice. so hopefully we, we take that inspiration and, and kind of... Uh, I don't know, point it towards something great. Nice, that's great to hear. That's really, really great to hear. Yeah. Um, before we let you kind of crack on and get yourself ready for, for the big spot, um, it's, been, it's been an amazing couple of years for you guys um, with so many like highlights, so many incredible moments. Let's just like fast forward to you guys being 85, right? Propping up a bar somewhere. Tell me like the most amazing story. What would be your go-to kind of anecdote, story? Can't believe it happened, crazy moment from the last few years. Well, if we're in this... N this hypothetical narrative here, we're 85. I, I'd hope we would put a few more years in from now. And um, actually my goal is to continue to be playing in this band until it's hilarious that Josh is able to do a backflip <laughs> off the piano. So I imagine him at 65 trying to do this backflip. At some point it will not work. I don't know what year it's gonna be, um, but I assume that when it doesn't work, that moment, that event, that show, where it fails miserably because of his bones just not <laughs> able to like so make back. the full <laughs> rotation. Uh, I'm sure that will be one of my favorite stories at that point. That's so I'm looking forward to that. And hey, Mick Jagger's still doing it, man. So, you know, yeah. the Rolling Stones are still yeah. out there. No, I know. We'll see. Is he doing backflips? I, I think he probably could. Probably. Yeah. If he wanted to, I think he could. Yeah. He can do anything, right? I think yeah. the bar's set high. Listen, I need to let you get on with it, but it's been such a pleasure hanging out with you back here. Thank you for having us. I know it's like a hectic time pre-show, so... Nah, thanks, thank man. Thank yeah. you. Enjoy tonight. The crowd is so psyched for it. So, so psyched for it. We're psyched, too. 21 Pilots, everybody.